What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today, your one-stop shop for LEGO customs, reviews, MOCs, and more. And as I'm sure many of you saw, yesterday we got the Captain Marvel costume reveal for her MCU debut. And man, that costume looks amazing. So, in honor of that reveal yesterday, today, I'm going to show you how to build a better Captain Marvel. So, let's get started. So, Captain Marvel came in a set from a few years back, which was like an Avenger space battle against Thanos, based off of the cartoon on TV, but Captain Marvel looked amazing regardless. So, I'm going to show you how to build an MCU version of Captain Marvel using 100% official LEGO pieces. So, the hair comes from Lloyd from the Ninjago movie. I really like that kind of longish, but but only shoulder length haircut. And I don't think that it's 100% perfect for Carol Danvers, but of the pieces that we have available to us right now, it looks great. In fact, I bet Lego will give us a custom hair piece for Carol when that time comes. Also, I think that this hair from the Spider-Girl set that came in the Spider-Man bridge battle would look awesome as well. But if you guys can think of a great piece for Carol Danvers in the MCU, let me know which hair piece you would use in the comments below. So, moving down the figure, this is where it gets great for those of you who don't want to use a lot of pieces on your customs. The head and the torso, the arms, the hands, all of that great stuff are from the Carol Danvers that came in that space battle set. Now, I didn't want to stray too far from that because, let's be honest, that design is Captain Marvel. It's literally Captain Marvel, so no reason to use somebody else's torso or anything, but I'm thinking of trying a purist version of this using a version that isn't Captain Marvel, just for my fans and subscribers who don't actually have that figure. But let me know in the comments below if you can think of another torso that would look like Captain Marvel that isn't Captain Marvel. The only other thing to add are Superman's legs here, which are dual molded legs, which have red on the bottom for the boots and blue on the top for the pants slash legs. So at the end of the day, that is my Captain Marvel. I am so unbelievably hyped for this movie, and I cannot wait till we get our Captain Marvel sets in 2019. So, let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure, and if you are going to build Captain Marvel, let me know which pieces you would use. Also, be sure to check the description below. I know that you guys always want to build these customs for your collection, so if you're looking to build this custom, I've put links to where you can buy all of the pieces that I used in the description below. So drop some comments below letting me know figures I should create in future videos, and until next time, build on. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. Also, consider joining my Patreon for monthly giveaways and other cool bonuses that you can only get as one of my Patreon subscribers. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.